السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, Dear students, this is the last lecture in cytology We're going to study the nucleus As we said before, I cannot say that this is a cell unless I have nucleus We have the platelets and the RBCs does not do not contain uh, the uh, nucleus uh, The nucleus appears as a basophilic body. Why uh, the nucleus appears as basophilic body? Because it contains uh, DNA and RNA, which are uh, acids, and the acid like to be stained with something basic, and this is called basophilic, and the basic stain is hematoxylin and appears blue in color. Uh, the position either appears central, eccentric, or peripheral. The number usually one, but may be binucleated or multinucleated in cells uh, is uh, the skeletal muscle. Uh, the size variable may be small, large, medium sized. Uh, the shape may be rounded, oval, flattened, trot shaped, bilobe, globulated, or kidney shaped. Uh, staining, uh, as we said, uh, the nuclei appears basophilic. But um, according to the appearance, it may be light stained or dark stained. Uh, light stained or dark stained. And this depends upon the activity. If the uh, cell is active, protein producing, uh, the uh, chromatin uh, will appear uh, extended and pale in color, so it appears lightly stained, and this is called vesicular nucleus, and the nuclei will be prominent. If uh, the uh, cell inactive and the chromatin is coiled, it appears as darkly stained, I cannot see the nucleoli. Again, this is a vesicular nucleus, and this is condensed nucleus. This is active cell and this is inactive cell. The nucleus is formed of four components. The nuclear membrane that surrounds the nucleus, the chromatin which is uh, containing DNA and the DNA carries genetic information, the nucleolus which is responsible for the production of the uh, RNA and the uh, nuclear sap. Again, this is a diagrammatic picture of the nucleus. Here, the nuclear membrane appears to be formed of two layers fused together at certain interval, making the nuclear pore. This nuclear pore allows the passage of substances in, from outside to inside of the nucleus and vice versa. And here is the nucleolus, and this is the chromatin. I can see the chromatin pale chromatin in certain areas and dark chromatin in other, as well as we have the nuclear sap. The nuclear membrane appears dark blue line. Why it appears as dark blue line? As uh, the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum sometimes uh, present on the outer uh, nuclear uh, membrane, uh, so it is RNA and from the inner side there is the chromatin, peripheral chromatin containing DNA, so it appears as dark blue line. Uh, by EM, uh, the uh, nuclear membrane is formed of two uh, layers parallel together, uh, separated by perinuclear space, uh, which may be 30 to 50 nanometer, uh, and interrupted at interval by the nuclear pores. The outer membrane is rough and granular uh, due to attachment of polyribosomes and is continuous with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The inner membrane is fibrillar due to attachment of chromatin thread, what so called peripheral chromatin, and it is associated with the nuclear lamine that I talked to you, uh, the uh, intermediate filament that we talk about, uh, formed mainly of lamine for stabilizing the nuclear envelope and the nuclear pore provide communication between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. This is a diagrammatic picture. Here is the nuclear membrane formed of two layers fused at interval to forming what so called the nuclear pore. The nuclear pore complex is a circular opening at interval where the inner and the outer membrane fuse together. It is formed of 30 nuclear protein. Uh, forming octagonal eight annulus, uh, uh, a ring formed of eight components. So it's called octagonal annulus or ring. Uh, the nucleoprotein filament extends into the cytoplasm and the nucleus, allowing passage of uh, uh, particles from inside to the outside and the nucleus and vice versa. 
What is the function of the nuclear pore transport of protein to the nucleus? What type of a protein? The protein is formed by the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This protein will join uh, the RRNAs that form it inside the nucleolus to form these subunits of the ribosomes. And export move away from the nucleus to the cytoplasm, the RNA, and the ribosomal subunits to the cytoplasm in order to start the protein synthesis. This is an EM picture showing the nuclear pore, and here is the nuclear membrane. Here is the inner nuclear membrane related to the uh, peripheral chromatin, and here is the outer nuclear membrane. Fusion of the outer and inner nuclear membrane form what's so called the nuclear pore. Uh, the nuclear pore, this is the um, outer nuclear membrane, and this is the inner nuclear membrane fused together. Again, uh, the uh, outer nuclear membrane, and here is the inner nuclear membrane. Related to the inner nuclear membrane, the chromatin and the lamine. The green is the lamine, and the blue is the, uh, the uh, chromatin. Uh, it's formed of 30 protein arranged as an octagonal. Here is half of this octagon. And I can see filaments uh, projecting outside and inside. These filaments allow passage of uh, components uh, from outside uh, uh, the nucleus to the inside and vice versa. Again, here is uh, the um, outer uh, nuclear uh, membrane. And this is the inner nuclear membrane. And here are the octagons. Okay, the 30 proteins forming octagonal ring. This is the octagonal ring related to the cytoplasm, and this is related to the nucleus. And these are the filaments that allow passage of uh, proteins and RNA uh, from uh, uh, RNA from the uh, out, uh, inside of the uh, nucleus uh, to the cytoplasm, and protein from uh, the cytoplasm to the uh, nucleus. Okay, uh, then we're going to talk about the chromatin. Uh, by definition, uh, the chromatin in non-dividing nuclei. What do I mean by non-dividing? I'm not dividing now, but the nuclei can divide. In any cell not dividing now, the chromatin is the chromosomal material uncoiled. If it is coiled, it is called the chromosome. So the chromatin is uncoiled chromosomal material, and this appears in non-dividing cell. It represents the genetic material formed of nucleoprotein, DNA double helix, uh, uh, with histone and non-histone proteins. Uh, the chromatin, as we said, is formed of DNA. The DNA uh, is so long, 100,000 longer than the nuclear di diameter, so it is highly coiled and contain genetic information. It appears basophilic granules. According to the activity, we have either EU chromatin or heterochromatin. Uh, the uh, chromatin uh, stained with osmic acid appears uh, dark. Uh, if this chromatin is um, coiled, it will appear dark, and this is called heterochromatin. If this chromatin is extended, it will appear pale, and this is, will be called eochromatin. So, dear students, look here. This is the nuclear membrane. This is the nucleolus. The dark is the heterochromatin, and the pale is the eochromatin. The heterochromatin may be present on the inner nuclear membrane called peripheral chromatin, related to the nucleolus, nucleolus-associated, or present in islets. Uh, functions uh, the, of the chromatin, it carries genetic information and important for protein synthesis. Um, uh, dear students, if I'm having a, a, a chromatin uh, that contain active genes for protein production, this chromatin will be unfolded and extended okay, in order to have a copy on a messenger RNA. If the genes are inactive and I do not want them in protein production, it will be coiled, so it will appear dark. This table shows us the difference between eochromatin and heterochromatin. The eochromatin is extended or uncoiled, as it contains active genes. They are predominate in metabolically active cell as the nerve and the liver cell. By the light microscope, this chromatin appears as fine thread, so the nucleus appears pale, pale basophilic with clear nucleolus. Uh, 
By the EM, it appears as electron lucent areas, pale areas. Heterochromatin is called inactive chromatin, contain inactive genes present in metabolically inactive cells as small lymphocytes. By light microscope, appears as coarse clumps corresponding to the dark basophilic nucleus with unclear nucleolus. By the EM, appears electron dense. Sites of the heterochromatin may be peripheral, attached to the inner nuclear membrane, islands, aggregates, clumps, separated by the nuclear sap, nucleolus associated related to the nucleolus. Here is an uh, eochromatic uh, nucleus containing uh, mainly eochromatin, so the nucleus appears vesicular. Here is mainly the heterochromatin and few areas of eochromatin, so the nucleus will, be, will appear condensed. Uh, the function of the nucleus, it carries genetic information, formation of the RNA, messenger RNA, uh, which copy uh, the genetic information from the DNA, ribosomal RNA, which is the factory uh, that inside the polypeptide chain is formed, transfer RNA that pick the amino acid in form to form the protein. Direct and control protein synthesis, chromosomal alteration associated with tumor or genetic diseases. Uh, the third component of the nucleus is the nucleolus. This is the nucleus and this is the nucleolus. Um, one or more uh, dark masses and they appear basophilic. Uh, by the EM appears like sponge-like appearance, not limited by a membrane, containing uh, uh, dark materials uh, with areas of uh, light. The dark area uh, known as the parth amorpha, which is the nuclear organizer. This is the filament of the DNA uh, coding uh, for how to produce the ribosomal RNA. Uh, the parth fibrosa, fibrillar component, they are the newly formed RRNA. The parth granulosa, granular components, they are granules which are the mature RRNA. Uh, nucleolonema, nucleolonym uh, components of the uh, parse uh, fibrosa and parse granulosa together. The light areas are the nucleolar sap. Uh, the function of the nucleolus is a, a ribosomal RNA production, which is responsible for the protein synthesis, a large nucleoli found in rapid growing malignant cells. Here is the nucleolus, dark areas uh, which correspond to uh, the uh, parse amorpha, parse granulosa, and parse fibrosa, light areas which are the uh, nucleolar sap, appears as sponge-like. Nucleolar sap uh, collide uh, clear media in which all contents of the nucleus are embedded, formed of lipoproteins, ions, potassium, and phosphorus, as well as enzymes. They provide a media for movement of the three types of the uh, RNA, uh, ribosomal messenger and transfer from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. Uh, what the function of the nucleus carries genetic information, uh, control all cell function, responsible for formation of the RNA and important as it directs the cell division. It is the maestro of the cell. Uh, dear students, these are uh, revision uh, to data show slides. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, in the cytology, you should uh, know this slide is electron microscopic or uh, light microscopic picture. This is electron. Why? Uh, because the detail of the cell can be seen. I can see less than one cell with details and it's dark due to uh, the osmic acid stain. The uh, red arrow points to the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, the green arrow points to the mitochondria. Uh, the mitochondria stained with iron hematoxylin. Give a visible character why this is mitochondria. The presence of Christy. Uh, this is an EM picture of a cell and membrane of two adjacent cells. Uh, this one uh, membrane, which is trilamellar, and this is other one with a fuzzy layer. Uh, the star is the cytoplasm of one cell. And the red arrow points to intercellular space. This is a diagrammatic uh, picture of the molecular structure of the cell membrane. Uh, this is transmembrane protein. This is a uh, glycoprotein. Uh, a, or a, car a carbohydrate chain, 
uh, this is the phospholipid bilayer okay the triangle is the phospholipid bilayer uh, this is an electromicroscopic picture of mitochondria, uh, outer membrane. Uh, the uh, blue arrow points to Christi, which increase the surface area. Here are the in the matrix the uh, respiratory enzymes. Uh, here, uh, the red arrow is the matrix containing the respiratory enzymes, uh, the DNA, RNA, um, the calcium and magnesium, which act as a catalyst for the respiratory enzymes. This is uh, EM picture showing Golgi apparatus. Here is uh, the cis phase, and these are the transfer vesicle. And here is uh, the trans phase, and these are the secretory vesicles or lysosomes. Uh, this is an EM picture of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, dear students, I want to ask you a question. Can you guess what it is? What are these granules? Yes, these are the glycogen granules. Uh, this is an EM picture of rough endoplasmic reticulum. As you can see, this the ribosomes. This is an EM picture of a centriole, and these are nine uh, triplets. Okay, uh, the arrow points to microtubules. This is shaft of uh, uh, cilia. I have. Why it is a shaft? I have nine doublets, I have a singlet, and I have a cell membrane. This is an EU chromatic nucleus, and this is the EU chromatin, this is the nucleolus, and this is the inner nuclear membrane. This is an heterochromatic nucleus, the red arrow points to heterochromatic, while the green arrow is chromatic or the nuclear sap. 